Hello, and welcome back to another video. I'm ZipperSpark, and you're watching my FTP Continuum Let's Play series. Last time we went over a few things with the power, and we upgraded the power cells. Um, there's one thing I did find out about it, and it's somewhat unintuitive, but I can understand how it's doing it, and I don't know if it's the right way. Anyways, the generator's loud. I'm trying to fill this up, and so that's why the diesel generator's running. But if you notice on here, there's a bunch. There's uh, I only have the three mediums. I turned so I had 27 low power cells altogether, and I converted those into uh, six. Yeah, so there's four on the bottom, and then one in the back, and then that one up there, and then the, these three in the front that are still low. So there's six medium and uh, three low. Well, that makes nine total power cells, and so we have 4,500, so nine times 500, and this is nine times 100. So the power cell mediums will give off 500 RF per tick per attached power cell no matter what stage it is logically and the, it might be just that they thought it was too complicated to do the calculations this way but like I would say there's so many per medium and then so many per low and then add it all up and that's how much total it gets but it's just saying how many total are attached, multiply that by whatever you're pulling from. So I switched all my connections, you know, there's the top here you can see is the input, um, and then the side down here is output, and then there's some underneath as well to go down over to the tree farm. So, I was going to upgrade all of them. I was going to create another low and upgrade it to a medium, but then I realized as I'm doing this, the RF per tick that it can output is actually going down. So that's why I stopped. And any new ones I create and add in, I'll probably just create low um, because I don't need them to be higher than that. Um, maybe once we get a bigger... Um, power need and you know better cabling and stuff we'll upgrade the ones that are the input the main input and outputs to be the high and then everything else will be low um, the only real advantage that making upgrading the lows to medium in your setup would be is to um, the total power storage so um, because that just adds up how much can this block hold, how much is, can this block hold, so that, yeah. But, that is what I wanted to go over there. Um, oh yeah, that reminds me, this empower. I have... It's chugging along, trying to just make a bunch of circuits. And then, yeah, it's about even. Okay. So yeah, I was just having it do a bunch of circuits because I needed a bunch of circuits for those and kept running out and then I stopped because I realized that I didn't need it. Okay. And this engineer, Princess, is not wanting to upgrade herself. Um, I did have it go and it turned into, see, it's a Noble Noble again. That's a no engineer noble, noble engineer, and uh, these are about to pop. So let me put these new ones in. Uh, these ones, and let me get the PhD again. There. So that's taken forever long. It's being slow. Um, so 
on that. Um, I had a couple of ideas for the episode. Um, uh, I'm saying this as if you can respond and give me your input of what you want to see, but that's really not how it works. I record the video, then I upload the video, and then you watch the video. You don't get to make real-time adjustments. Unless I do live streaming. I've actually considered live streaming. Whether it's here on YouTube or on Twitch or somewhere else, um, I'm not sure. So, if you would be interested in watching a live stream, let me know. You put a comment in a description comment section down below down 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 yes anyways um so what i thought is i could go and i could make a bunch uh do the machine frames and make a bunch of the machines and get into um this because this gives me better jets engines um weapons of mass production so i need these and this and this yeah um, we could get into the um, industrial foregoing uh, and yeah, all that. Or I could finish some of these things over here. Um, we don't have many. I mean, there's this. This will give me lots of power. So I'm I'm a bit inclined less to do this and more to do this. And the other option would be to get um, the Gendustry. Oh, come on. D U S T R Y. Okay. So it gets these Gendustry machines. That's just the, yeah. So um, obviously the apiary is one of the first ones we want to do because then that's easier to automate. Um, and then with that, we can do, I think, this one, the automation upgrade. But we need the upgrade frame, which means we need honey. Um, we've got the honey, so we could look into that. Um, this just takes the, you know, the honey in the DNA and then scented gears. Takes honey in the carpenter. So we do need to create a carpenter with the honey and oh, the royal jelly and the pollen. Okay. That's something I haven't got to yet. So that's probably going to indicate we can't get to this yet. Um, uh, speaking of which, I've gotten a noble and um, students, majestic. Yeah, so my majestic is going pretty good. And then I think it's majestic, but it's, hang on, uses bee breeding imperial. Imperial makes royal jelly. Yeah, okay. And so the Majestic and Noble, I should, yeah. So I think after I get the Engineer, I'll probably do that. Unless I want to do other ones. Um, and then I think there's also the um, Industrial... Rius, it was there. Yeah, industrious. Um, if you look what it produces, and it produces the pollen. So to that, we need diligent and unweary. Unweary is diligent and cultivated. So we need to do some more diligence. And I think this is the only diligent we have is a single drone. So we will have to breed. Oh, we've got one down there. But we will have to breed them, which is common cultivated. And so I'll have to get my commons out, do all that. So uh, that'll be off camera bee breeding. But that's where the bees are at the moment. Um, we do have, what's that, 22.4 buckets of DNA. And then this is full of honey. Uh, this is full of honey. And the honey drops are backing up here. And um, yeah. So. Biomass. What does the biomass need? Oh, I need uh, potatoes. Right? Right? 
what it, I what I tell it to make. Okay, inside this is uh, items, yeah. So the steel insert export from the fermenter ah sugar cane isn't this the sugar yeah so it should export import and that is not this one that's over here I think not that one. Am I missing it? Yeah, I think I might have disconnected it somehow by accident. Because I don't see it on the list here. Yeah, it must be disconnected. Hmm. I'll have to look at that and see what's going on. There. That'll work. Well, that's putting it somewhere. Down here, I think. Yeah, probably. All right. Um, yeah, so let's do this one here. So make the machine frame and then get some of these ready. So what do we need for the machine frame? Ah, wrong button. Machine frame. This guy. Data control circuits. That is the gold one. This is diamonds and a sturdy casing. Titanium. Iridium, Iridium, hmm, that's what's been putting us off on that, the Iridium, we don't have much Iridium, we have four Iridium ingots, and the best source of Iridium is the mass fabricator with the UU matter. So, yeah, let's actually work towards that. I don't know if we'll get it finished today in this episode, but we'll work towards it. So, hold tight. All right, let me explain where I am at. So, I was working on the matter fabricator, and I've got, uh, well, some of the stuff put together. Let me show you over here. So I've got, um, so it needs two extractors, two of these machine frames, energy flow circuits, and a Lapatron energy orb. So I've got the extractors ready to go, easy enough. Um, these ones, so this res one recipe gives me four, so I have this, and that's what this is except for the middle bit. I'm like, well, what's, how do I make that? Well, the compactor, which I don't have yet. The implosion compressor, which I don't have yet. Or the rolling machine, which I don't have yet. So, what do I need for this? Advanced alloy, bo 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 compressor, okay, well. I actually have that ready to go. And for that, I'm also gonna need some reinforced. And this, is what um, uh, yeah this is how you make it and this is all the rest of my iridium into there so I'm out of iridium and that is the problem because this setting this up and uh, putting this in there is going to give me enough for these or energy flow circuits. Well, in order to get the energy Lapatron energy orb, I need another iridium alloy plate, which means I need four more iridium. So that, 
load machine input. Hmm. That is the problem I have. So let me get what does the multi block here look like? It's a three by three underneath it. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. Um, you can go away. All righty. I need a connector that can get power to it, floating in the air. I don't think I need the vacuum freezer right now. Means I could probably have Come on. Okay. Let's put this. Um, here, actually, let's put it here. Um, Plosion compressor here, which means All right, so I need to get the power over here. Um, it's this one, I think. Yep. Okay. So I put in this in here and some TNT. Now it was going to give me some. Yeah, two stacks. Okay, and then how much do I need? 16. Okay. So, over here. So that is that. So now all I need is this Lapatron. So I need to make eight more of these and I think I'm shy some triple batteries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. I have six. So, can I make a single battery? One, two, double, one, two, triple, one, two, recipe, one, two. Okay. Now, make them these. One, two, three, four. Oh, I need some more circuits. Ah. I have a bunch of circuits here. I pulled them out here so I could do this. Yeah, make the um, whatever the next advanced circuits are. Yeah. Okay, so it's ready to go. All, all I need is one more iridium alloy plate which means I need nine more iridium and 
I don't have them. So uh, looking at like, okay, is there any other way to get them? Oh, if you have the liquid, the ore, the powder, the dust, maybe. No. Grinder, fluid seething machine, fermented ore meat, or iridium ore. Nah. Probably have to get the iridium. If I have platinum, I have a 10% chance in the pulverizer. No. Induction smelter. No, I need this. So, you crafting with you, you matter. Tier 6, I don't have. Fusion control computer. I could get some lithium and some wolframium. But I need more iridium. So I have four of these. I could make, well, this one. Yeah, nickel chrome. So, well, I need more iridium. So yeah, that's my, that's my dilemma is I need at least four more iridium and then, 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 I can get the UU matter and the tung tungsten. There was something I could do with the tungsten. I think it was from this. Yeah, that's how you get the wolframium. You electrolyze the tungsten dust. So, and then the lithium, I think think is you combine it's like from like water stuff I think let me look because it was not terribly difficult industrial electrolyzer is clay that's right so clay gets me that so clay and tungsten if I had the whatever it's called The fusion control computer, which is a very complicated piece of machinery. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm mining. Yeah. I have no idea how long it's going to take to get that. So I'll probably have to look into something else. Um, but probably going to have to wait for the next episode. Uh, unfortunately yes but um i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did leave a like if not then you can dislike i suppose but give me a comment and tell me why you don't think i was doing so well anyways um subscribe if you haven't and i will see you next time Bye bye